In this video, I'm going to cover a few quick tips regarding making brush selections whenever you're sculpting in 3D Coats with Voxel Room. If you're in surface mode or in voxel mode, you have a few tools that will allow you to make a brush selection or even a you know custom selection using rectangles, polygonal lasso, freeform lasso, elliptical, close spline, and so on. Or you can just make a brush selection. And then once the selection is made, you can apply that transform or that particular operation to that selection. Here, in surface mode, you have the subdivide brush. You also have the angulator tool, smoother. And then under the object section, you have Vox Extrude and Vox Layer. And these will, again, allow you to brush select and then it will perform these specific operations. So let's go ahead and go to the subdivide brush. And one thing to note here is that if you make a selection in any one of these tools until you clear it you can continue using it in some of these other tools for example if I were using the smoother tool here to make a selection if I don't want it to go all the way through which it did here undo choose ignore back faces And if I choose Angulator, it will maintain that selection throughout these other tools. Including Vox Layer and so on. So if you want to use these in conjunction with uh, one another, you're welcome to do that. You can clear the selection here in the Tool Options panel in each of these tools. or just as you would in Photoshop, you can hit the keyboard combination Control D to clear it. So hit Control D. Okay. So we'll go back up to the subdivide brush. And this is something you might typically use if you want to dynamically tessellate local areas of your mesh in surface mode. Now you can also do that with live clay, but in this case, you can just make a, a quick selection and apply a subdivide routine to it. So it's just another option to perform localized subdivision and let's do that here. Let's say the camera is going to be focused here in the head region. So let's choose any one of these brushes here. As I brush, keep an eye in the lower left hand corner of the frames per second. And notice as I let up from my cursor it drops down to about 20 frames per second. It's very slow. Why is that? Well, it's a dual calculation on 3D Coats part. Andrew probably needs to multi-thread this so that one thread is making the free selection and another thread or another core is handling the calculation of this outer green border. Okay, and I think that's the reason why because if I switch to the freeze brush, now watch, it's much more lively, much faster to make a brush selection. Okay, even if I use something like a freeform lasso. Okay, so let's go back to the brush here. And if you look in the lower left hand corner, since I let up, which is now. It doesn't drop much at all. So that's the main tip here is use the freeze tool here to make your selection and then switch to whichever one of these tools you want to use. You can see it updates that selection. Okay, so control D to clear. So it's probably ideal to switch to the freeze brush first. And you can even set a hotkey for that if you like to make it much faster to access. And you have sticky keys as well, so you could just hold that down. Okay, let's go over here, and I can see I have a 
M hotkey assigned to the freeze tool. So I'm going to clear this selection. And let's say I'm in one of these tools. And I realize, oh, this is just too slow. I can hold the M key and it quickly switches me on the fly while I'm holding the M hotkey. Okay, and then just let up and I'm back in the same tool. And with that, we'll bring this quick tip tutorial to a conclusion. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.